everyone, this is Jay Sones, back with another Razor Script Guide. This one will be about cooking. In my previous video about blacksmithing, we went into detail about the gump responses and how to interact with the crafting gump. We'll use what we learned in that video and work on our cooking skill. I received some comments about people wanting to use the code snippets, so I've created a GitHub repo, which is in the description of the video. For cooking, we need three things, a fire, a pan, and some meat. In this script, we will use camping skill check to see if we need to make a fire a restock agent for the pan and the meat, and then an organizer agent to make sure our bag doesn't get full. As always, make sure you're on a profile. Here we're gonna use please subscribe. The first thing we're gonna do is wanna make a restock agent of a frying pan and meat. In my case, I'm gonna be using ribs. Head on over to agents, select a restock agent. You want to add a target fry pan, one, and then add a target whatever type of meat you have, which in my case, ribs, 10. So this is now restock two. We'll head over to the scripts tab. We're gonna put this one under training, new. We'll name it cooking. We wanna make this script rerunnable. We'll add a gump close to the top. Type in restock two, wait for target. If you're using your bank box, you'll target yourself. But in my case, I'm in my house. To find the item ID of my container, I say info, copy the serial, save, play. I have a frying pan and some meat. From here, we'll want to give the restock agent some time to, to run, so we'll wait for one second. Now let's make sure we actually have our supplies. So what we want to do is make sure we got a pan and we got some ribs. So we'd say if, find type, we'll do info again on our frying pan. Take the ID there, if find type 2431 in our backpack. So we'll say if not, overhead, no pan, and 34, so it's red. So we'll run that. We got a frying pan. So let's step away from our bag. Put that away. Play. Can't reach that. No pan. Next thing we'll want to do is make sure that we have ribs. The restock bot agent should be grabbing 10. But if we have less than 3, let's assume we're out of ribs. Ribs will be a custom counter. So we need to set that up. Click the display counters tab. Go over to counters. I've already preset this up, ribs, but we're gonna add. You say target, you click the ribs, and you name it ribs, whatever you want, ribsies. Okay. By default, it's unchecked. So you want to make sure that you scroll down and check it so it gets counted. Now I have a ribs or ribs, depends on what I wanna use. So we can come back over to the script, and we say if, oops, I need one to break out of that, if, count ribs is less than three overhead no ribs 34 break and if so our script so far make sure that we are restocking so that the restock agent actually gives us items to to make now that we know we have our ingredients we have our pan on our ribs double click type 2431 from our backpack. That should open our frying pan. So we'll wait for Gump. 94, 90, 95, 101. Save, play. Correctly have the Gump loading. On my character, I'm actually already over 100 cooking. To give you an example, if you remember from our blacksmithing video, the Gump response here is 100. So we will Gump response 100. Save, play. That should take us into the training recipes. And then this is 200 to 201, blah, blah, blah. So if you're just starting off, you're going to want to do either cooked ribs or cooked drumstick or cooked fish. So remember, this is 200, 201, 202. So we're going to say wait for gump. 94, 90, 95, 101. Gump response. And we'll say that we're cooking just cooked ribs, which is 202. I save and play this. I try to make an item, but it says you must be a, by a fire source to cook. Again, the easy way around this is to actually have some sort of fire source you're standing next to, but we'll we'll trick the system and use our camping skill. So even though we get this message here, we can't read it from a system message or anything like that, so we have to be creative about how we know we're not near a fire. We'll see if the count of ribs changes. So my restock agent is saying, I got 10. I'll leave if I don't, if I have less than three, but what we can do then is say, if, count ribs is equal to 10. 
equal 10. And if, and we'll say overhead, need fire. 34. So from here, we can say if skill camping is greater than zero, and find type kindling, so we'll say info, kindling, find type 3553, backpack, and if, then we'll use, I'm sorry, D click type 3553, backpack, and wait one second, save, play, fire, and I made a fire. So now if I run this again, I should actually make a cooked rib. I cooked ribbed and in my backpack. Uh, basically you can just keep running this as long as you have kindling and as long as you... Oh, <laughs> silly. We also need to add a loop so it actually continues to make stuff. So let's say save, play. Why does it say I need a fiber? Oh, because we have to wait for it to actually cook. Silly. There we go. Now it's done. Okay, so now that we have the script running and looping correctly, so let's make a organizer agent to move the items that we've cooked. So in my case, I have ribs here. How can we make that happen? We just use an organizer agent. Let's go back over to agents. Choose organizer agent uh, two. So this was my organizer agent when I was cooking. Uh, basically puts ribs, cuts of ribs and baskets away. So under our script, we just want to run organizer agent two. After this happens, so we can say wait organizer two. Save, play, and my organizer agent happens to be this meat box. All right, so I'm gonna stop this video here. This is kind of the basics on how to get a cooking script together. I have an advanced cooking script that's recorded, but it's over 18 minutes long right now, and I wanted to get this video posted and not have another 25 minute post. Anyway, let me know in the comments if you like this video, if you hate this video, if there's any, my kids are screaming in the back. I'll let you know. Peace.